Now, easy, driver. This is not a holdup. Then why the gun? You got a passenger named Reese, Toby Reese. I wanted him. Got the wrong stage, mister. No one named Reese on this one. Let's take a look. Open the door. I don't like my passengers disturbed. Open it. When that door opens, Toby, you come out nice and peaceful, you hear? My son, Davey, and his dog, Hannibal. Where's Reese? What'd you do with him? I'd like to oblige you, mister, but I never met the gentleman. Whose baggage is that? Why don't you climb up and find out? I'd rather you did that. Now you get up on that rack, mister, and toss them bags down here. you told me you didn't know Toby Reese. I don't. You're a liar. There's baggage all marked for delivery to Timberline. And that's exactly where I'm taking it, the Timberline. And I don't like being called a liar. Pop? What's the matter? Not a thing, son. This gentleman just stopped and asked some questions. He took a wrong turn someplace. Well, if you're siding with Toby Reese, driver, that's a big mistake. Dave can ride with me. Huh? Who's Toby Reese? As far as I know, it's just a name in the baggage check. Get up in the boot. I'm new in town. Yeah, I heard. You've heard what? You're new in town. That all? That, and you bought some property, right? What else did she tell you? She? That woman. Woman just walked out of here. That's Leo Calloway's wife. I know it is. That's the name she gave me. She told you something about me. Matter of fact, Mr. Reese, she did mention your name. If she's here, Leo's here, too. They've got no right trailing me like this. Well, now, they're just passing through. Timberline's always got a welcome for visitors, especially any property owners. Meaning what? Meaning some folks are more welcome than others, as long as they don't cause any trouble. How much do you know about me? I know about you, Mr. Reese, about as much as I care to know, and I'm beginning to care a little less every minute. Now, if living here in Timberline is going to upset you so much, I suggest you just move along. You follow me. Followed me for years. Always one step behind me, like, like a bad memory. Why don't you let him catch up? Settle what's on his mind. I come out here and bought me a ranch to settle down and live a peaceful life. They got no right hounding me this way. What way? He's out to kill me, Marshal. It's your job to keep him away from me. Mr. Reese, so far Leo Calloway is just a visitor here. 
Uh, you'll get the same consideration as anybody else in this town. That includes Leo Calloway. He bothers you, I'll make sure his visit is short and sweet. But you go around calling people murderers. You're not going to last here long either. Now you're threatening me too. I might have known. Nobody invited you to Timberline. Nobody's asking you to leave. But like I said before, living here is going to make you unhappy. I suggest you find someplace else. Stages are running on a regular schedule. Someplace else. That's where it always ends up. Someplace else. Start getting those bags out, David. Yes, sir. Marshal? No passengers, huh? Oh, it's just me. It's good to see you, Davy. Bring him along to help with the baggage. Getting pretty good at it. Can we help you, Marshal? Better keep this one aside. What for? Well, this is Toby Reese. Is he in town? Bought a ranch north of here. What I've heard, he could turn out to be a lot of trouble. Kind of got the same idea myself. You know him? No, but a one-armed man stopped me in the trail looking for him. Leo Calloway. Well, I didn't ask his name, but he was sure ready to stir up a lot of dust to find Reese. That's what I was told. Does Reese know? He's the one that told me. See you. Baby, give me a hand here. Mr. Reese, is he a renegade or something? I can't say, Davy. I don't know anything about him. Come on, Pop. Finish sort this mail. You looking for something, mister? I'm not trying to steal anything. The name's Reese. I told you, Reese, these are my bags. I can take care of my stuff from here. My buckle is just around the corner. No, yeah, there's another bag inside. I'll... That's my horse! Fire! Buckboard's on fire! Welcome to Timberland, soldier boy. You're a long way from home, Leo. So are you. Heard you were settling here. I thought I'd pay you a call. Some place, huh? Wonder who owns that buckboard. Not yours, is it, soldier boy? You know it's mine, Leo. And you're gonna pay. Pay? For what? You charge an admission to watch your wagon burn? You're gonna pay for setting it on fire. Toby, are you accusing me? Listen, Leo, I didn't come all this way to find trouble, or you. You best just leave me be. <laughs> leave me be, he says. After I look all over the West just to pay you a visit. If I'm bothering you that much, Toby, maybe you ought to just get rid of me. You see, you still can your cavalry pistol, and I've only got one arm. Running away, soldier boy? If you're lucky, just tell it the depot. You can pick it up and let me know where you want to start. All right, just a minute. You too, Callie. What's going on around here? Ask him. Mr. Reese claims I set his wagon afire. Did you see him do it? He was just standing there. Nobody else around. Anybody see how it happened? How did you, Simon? I didn't see it. You sure that's your buckboard and what's left of it? Forget it. Well, is it yours or isn't it? It don't matter one way or another. Well, if that's yours, you can file charges. Will that settle anything, Toby? No, no charges. Put your 
bags aboard the stage. I'll run you out to your ranch. Tell my son David to help you load them. Thanks, I'll manage. I want to see you alone, Hugh. My office. Simon, say it. What's Leo Calloway's big complaint against this Reese? Personal feud, I guess. Not like you, though, Simon, but in on a private argument. Calloway stopped my stage in the trail, held me at gunpoint, and tried to kidnap one of my passengers. You said there weren't any passengers. Calloway didn't know that. He was looking for Reese. Don't like arguing with killers. Well, nobody's been killed, Simon. Not yet. Calloway can't shoot him down the middle of Main Street. He's trying to force a showdown. You saw it yourself. Way Reese is back off, that's not very likely. Can't back off forever. Simon, what do you want me to do? Put Calloway in jail for a gunfight that never happened? Well, the buckboard fire happened. Well, nobody can prove he started it. Reese won't press charges. Won't even admit it was his wagon. What's he afraid of? Uh, something personal between them, I guess. They're both rebel soldiers. Went into the army together. Calloway came out a hero. Reese, he turned tail and ran. He was wanted by the whole Confederate army. For what? Treason against the Confederacy. Cowardice in battle. Desertion during wartime. If that's the only charge. It wasn't my fault. It was your gun that spooked those horses. Well, sure it was my gun, but I don't know that's what happened. It wasn't for him. Yeah, him, that lousy runaway soldier. Next time I use that gun, I'll put it to better use. I won't be here next time. Oh, you can't hold me in that jail very long, Marshal. The longer I hold you, the better off you'll be. Because when I let you go, Simon Kane will be waiting and God help you. Now, you're the law. You can't let him kill me. Looks, Mr. King. How bad is that? No bones broken, as far as I can tell. Just a lot of nasty bumps and bruises. Are we all right to move him? Get him to bed? That's where he belongs. I'd like to have him handy for a day or two so I can keep an eye on him. Well, that can be arranged. He's asking for you. Get in there. Go on. King? Yes, ma'am. Your son. How is he? Oh, nothing too serious. He'll mend in a few days. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so very glad. He might have been killed. Yes, we were luckier than we figured. Are you uh, staying at the hotel? Yes, ma'am. Well, so are we, my husband and I. If there's anything we can do to help. Thank you. I, I could bring him some hot meals. It's a very kind offer, but there's no need. Yes, there is a need, Mr. King. And I'd be very happy to care for you, son. I think I should. My apologies, ma'am. I don't think I know you. I'm Clara Calloway, Leo's wife. Mrs. Calloway, you'd do more good just taking care of your husband. Thanks anyway. No, wait a minute, please. I know Leo was to blame, but at least give me a chance to try to make up for it. Let me pay for his medical expenses. Save it for your husband. You'll need it for traveling money. Does it have to be this way? Do you have to hate him so? I'm trying not to, and it isn't easy. Good day, ma'am.
Oh, no, not again. Drink it. Still daytime, Pop. Do I have to stay in bed? Doctor says you need lots of rest. Yeah, but resting's no fun. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. King, but I thought maybe your boy would enjoy some pie. I thought I told you, ma'am, that we didn't need it. Pop? Gee, I can smell it from here. A bit of apple pie. That's right, Debbie. That's just what it is, apple pie. That's my favorite. I never saw a boy yet that didn't like apple pie. Gee, thanks. This sure is nice of you, Mrs. Calloway. And my room's just down the hall if you... What's wrong, Davy? Nothing. I guess I'm just not as hungry as I thought I was. Well... I'll leave it over here on the table in case you should want it later. I'm sorry, Pop. I didn't mean to make her feel bad. I guess she's just trying to make up for what Mr. Calloway did. Mm, I guess you're right, son. Mr. Calloway? I appreciate what you're trying to do, and so does Davy. He told me so just now. He didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Your son has a good reason to dislike my husband, Mr. Kane. I don't care very much for myself. There's no reason we should take it out on you. Leo acted like a fool, spooking those horses. He has such hate for Toby Reese. It's almost like a disease. It's beginning to infect a lot of people. I know. I've tried to stop it. I can't seem to find a cure. Best I can do is tag along and try to ease the pain it causes. You must care a great deal for that husband of yours. Are you trying to tell me that he's not worth the trouble? I'm not trying to tell you anything. Love takes some strange turns. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You think that Leo is a drunk and a loudmouth. A hot-headed bully with one empty sleeve and a heart full of hate. Yes, ma'am. Those are some of the things I think about. Well, it's true, all of it. But Leo's hate is for Toby Reese, not for me. Good or bad, right or wrong, Leo treats me like he loves me. And in my book, that makes him worth a thousand Toby Reese's. Mrs. Calloway, I... Look... This, this dress. Leo bought it for me. And these gloves. White gloves. You know, I, I used to think that only ladies wore white gloves. But now I'm wearing them. Before I met Leo, I never wore nice dresses or, or white gloves. I wore tights and spangles. And long red stockings. I lived in a filthy little room upstairs over a cheap saloon. When I married Leo, he just came back from the war. He was a war hero and he chose me. Mr. Kane, I know that as long as Leo's my husband, I'll never have to go back to that upstairs room again or live that kind of life. The way he's acting, you might not have him long. He'll either be a killer or a corpse. I can thank Toby Reese for that. Toby Reese isn't starting all this trouble. It's an old trouble. It started a long time ago. That's what I was told. Thanks, Brick. Leo was wounded. His arm. Oh, Toby could have helped him, but he didn't even try. He just dropped his gun and ran. Left Leo lying there with a sleeve full of blood. His arm might have been saved, but... Might not have been saved. He thinks it would. Did you ever ask Leo if he might not have run, too, if he'd been able? Are you trying to tell me that my husband's a coward? Yes. Even the government said he was a hero. Maybe the government should have looked at him after the war. He made Toby Reese run. Does that make him brave? I'm sorry, Mrs. Galloway, but I think your husband's both a coward and a fool. To waste your life and his by blaming all his faults and shortcomings on someone else. I don't ever want to lose my husband, Mr. Kane. I swear I'll, I'll hang by the neck before I let anyone take him away from me. I'll kill anyone. Toby Reese, the marshal or you, or anyone else that tries to hurt him. I'm still holding Calloway. Do you want to press charges? 
Yes. You can sign the papers over in my office. You don't have to take care of Davy. I'm accepting. If you change your mind, let me know. Charges. Go ahead and sign them. If I do, it'll keep them out of circulation, won't it? That's a general idea. Sit down. Change my mind. I don't want them out of circulation. I want them out in the street. Some place where I can get my hands on it. Sit down. I know, Simon. If it was my boy, I'd feel the same way. Nothing you can do to Callaway is going to make Davy get better one bit quicker. I want Callaway out of town, and the sooner the better. You just turn him loose and I'll guarantee he won't be around long. I'm not going to let you kill him. Who said anything about killing? You didn't say it. You didn't have to. I don't want to put you in jail, but I will. For what? Killing's not a crime until it's committed. You said so yourself. You can't throw me in jail for something I haven't done yet. In your case, I could make an exception. Those charges, they don't mean anything? Not a court in the land that wouldn't turn him loose. Well, why should I sign him? For your own good. Thanks. Don't do me any favors. I'm not trying to do you a favor. I want you to do one for me. I want you to sign these charges. But you said you couldn't make them stick. That's right. Maybe I can use these as a threat to get Galloway out of town. Without these charges, you got no hold on them? Disturbing the peace? How long can I hold them on that? I thought to solve your problem, you I'd sign. But it won't. There's only one way to treat a man like Galloway. You know that as well as I do. It's worth considering. Don't push your luck, Alloy. Miss Kane's decided not to press charges against you. Well, you got any charges to make. You make them against Toby Reese. None less what happened. Nothing he... more is going to happen because you're leaving town. Is that your idea? It's a good one. Now, you got a strange way around the law, Marshal. I'll fight a war. I lose my arm. I win all kinds of decorations for bravery, and I get run out of town. But a lousy sellout soldier like Toby Reese, oh, he gets welcomed with open arms. Tell him I'm going to give you one hour to get packed and out of this town for keeps. And if I don't? Well, then I'm going to hold you for trial. There won't be a circuit judge around here for another month. All right, where's my gun? It's right here. <laughs> oh, no. You can get that when you leave town. Well, carrying a gun's no crime. Depends on how you use it. In your case, I think you're better off without it. We well, yeah, have been treated around here by the law and everyone else. I got a right to have some protection. Protection from what? From him, Simon Kane. What are you talking about? Now, you told me he claims I was responsible for his kid being hurt. How do I know he won't put a slug in my back as soon as I walk out of here? You've already had more luck than you deserve, Calloway. Don't press it any further. Hey, you hear that, Marshal? Mr. Kane hasn't made any threats. Or have you? Oh, of course not. He knows how it sounds, mouth and off against a one-armed man. Now, let's face it, Marshal. Since his boy was hurt, can't do anything to get even or make me look bad. You don't need any help to look bad, Galloway. You've been hiding behind that empty sleeve those war medals for so long you turn them rotten inside. But you got a belly full of hate, a brain full of maggots. And you're holding the whole world responsible for your own bad smell. Take it easy, Simon. I used to know, Marshal. Listen to what he's talking to me. Get him out of here before he contaminates the whole town. One hour, Galloway. You get this on your way out. You can always get another gun. No, he hasn't got that much time. He's waited years to get Toby Reese. Now he wants to finish the job. <sighs> Toby Reese. Everything begins and ends with Toby Reese. Look, Reese was never convicted of those charges against him. He's entitled to your protection under the law. Well, what do you expect me to do about it? Put him in jail. Protective custody? That's right. Just till Callaway leaves town. Well, that's up to Reese. He can have it if he wants it. Do me a favor, Simon. 
You tell Reese. I'll keep an eye on Callaway. You don't like me, Davy. How do you know? Well, if you did, you'd at least do me the honor of complaining about the medicine. Oh, I like you all right. I just don't like Mr. Calloway. I don't blame you for that. I don't blame a lot of people. Come in. Good afternoon, ma'am. Davy. Marshal. You're looking better than the last time I saw you. I feel better. Miss Calloway. Yes? I stopped by to see your husband. He isn't in his room. You know very well where he is. In your jail. Well, ma'am, I turned him loose. I thought he might have come back here. Well, he... He might have. I wouldn't know I've been in here with Davy. Well, thank you. Just one other question. Do you have a gun? Yes, I do. Mind if I take a look at it? Well, it's in my purse in my room. I'll be right back, Davy. Marshal, why does a nice woman like Mrs. Calloway marry somebody like she did? Well, Davy, if you ever figure that out, you'll be sure to let me know, won't you? It's gone. The gun's gone. Marshal, wait. Maybe I put it someplace else. Mrs. Calloway? Mrs. Calloway? Oh. What is it, Davy? Something wrong again? No. No, there's nothing for you to fret about. And is it all right if I have that apple pie now? Oh, sure. We'll only get stale sitting here anyway. There you are. Mrs. Galloway? Hmm? I'm sorry. Here, I'll set up for you. He's in better shape than you are. What's that mean? Come on with me. The marshal's got a cell waiting for you. What for? Protective custody till Calloway leaves town. It's one sure way to avoid any more trouble. I've been avoiding trouble all my life. It's about time I faced up to it. The marshal's just trying to do you a favor. He told me to tell you. I'm not asking for any favors. You're asking for a bullet in the head. Calloway's out of jail. Leo Calloway. You won't clear your conscience with that. Listen, Kane. I made some bad mistakes a long time ago. I've been running and hiding from them ever since. 
No, I'm fresh out of places to hide. And I'm too tired to keep on running. Maybe I, if I could make myself face up to Callaway just once. Are you all right? Yeah. Hey, Toby, come on out. I got a welcome home present for you. Your friend Callaway, he sure found a gun in a hurry. You hear me in there? I hear you, Leo. Well, come on out, Toby. I can't wait all day. I don't go out there, Reese. I'm coming out, Leo. I told you to stay away from that door. Do I have a choice? He does. I'll see if he takes it. This is my party, Kane. You haven't been invited. My hands free and clear, Toby. Come on out and see. If you shoot him, you'll have to face his wife. And if I run and hide, I'll have to face myself. You gonna step aside? Anytime you're ready, Leo. I'm ready right now. tried to shoot me in the back. A marshal. He'll believe us, won't he? Don't worry about the marshal. Worry about Calloway's wife. See when he was coming back? Oh, he should be along soon. More pie? Oh, no thanks. That's plenty. <laughs> You've only had three pieces. Well, staying in bed so much, I can't lose my appetite. It hasn't been too bad here, has it? Oh, no, ma'am. It hasn't. I'll put that pie. I'll be right back. But uh, Please, Davy. been gone so long, I was worried. How's Davy? He's fine. Something's wrong, I can tell. Where's Leo? Mrs. Calloway, I've got bad news for you. I knew it would happen. I just knew it. Look, they'll go easy on him, won't they? I, I mean, Toby had it coming to him anyway. Leo only did what the firing squad should have done years ago. Well, that isn't the way it happened. Toby Reese is still alive. And Leo? Leo didn't gun him down? He tried. He tried to ambush Reese and shoot him in the back. You're lying. No, I saw it happen. Toby was luckier than Leo. No. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. I'm sorry. Leo's dead and Toby's alive. That's not the way it should be. It's not the way it should be at all.
Is she crying much, Pop? No tears, nothing. She just lies there staring at the ceiling like she's made of ice. We're pretty good friends now. Maybe I can make her feel a little better. You well enough to go wandering around? I'm fine, honest. Look. All right, go ahead. What? She's not there. Mrs. Calloway's not there. Take care of yourself for a while, baby. All right, but I... I won't be long. You're going back to bed. Calloway's wife finds you. I've been expecting him. Maybe you don't understand. She swore to kill anybody that harmed her husband. I know all about it, Simon. She's probably heading this way right now. You better get out of here. Where can I go? Any place. Marshal's office. I've run from everything else. Everyone else. Now you want me to run from a woman. A grief-stricken widow. That grief-stricken widow happens to want to kill you. Call it a public service. Look, Reese, you might not consider your own life worth saving. That poor woman's so mixed up she doesn't know what she's doing. And you're helping to make a murderer out of her. She's got a right. I killed her husband. Funny thing. I made myself face up to Calloway. Facing up to his wife. That's a lot different. Acting very foolish, Mrs. Calloway. Using that right, listen, to bring your husband back. And all your fancy speeches won't bring him back either. I'm not leaving here till Toby is just as dead as Leo. Reese has caused himself more misery than any man can handle. Isn't that punishment enough? No. He's still alive. Just being alive. That's been the toughest sentence of all. Get it over with, ma'am. Stand aside, Mr. King. You're going to have to shoot me, too, Mrs. Calloway, if you expect to get away. I got no place to go. No one's waiting for me but the marshal. And you can have the pleasure of turning me in. Now stand aside. Do what she says, Mr. Kane. Stand aside, Mr. Kane. Stop this bleeding. Go on. Please, it's your statement, just as you told it to me. It's like a murder confession. Widows do better in court than most murders. It's not much consolation. Don't you expect any, man? Not for me. I don't expect it. I don't deserve it. Funny thing. It's just the way Toby Reese felt. 
guess that sort of puts us in the same class, Toby and me. Well, uh, not quite, Mrs. Galloway. Oh, your life was worth a lot more than Toby's. But you did your best to throw them both away. I thought I had reasons. Good reasons. Now? What do you think now? Doc got the bullet, huh? Does that mean anything? It means you're not much of a murderous man. Is he gonna live, Simon? Doc says so. I think I'm glad. I really think I'm glad. We've been waiting to hear you say that, Mrs. Calloway. I guess I was, too. Room for one more? Sure. Kind of soon for you to be moving on, ain't it? It doesn't matter much. You should have let Mrs. Calloway finish the job. Would have been easier all the way around. Well, not for her. When's the trial going to be? Won't be any trial, lady. No charges against her. No evidence. Court says no trial. No reason for me to hang around town any longer. Who's going to take care of your ranch? Mrs. Calloway. I signed it over to her. Just like that? I can't bring her husband back. That's all I have to give him, honey. She'll take good care of the place. Well, you don't have to leave. You can't win me some Timberline anymore. Only one, Davy. I see him every time I look in the mirror. Let you go, Davy. Make yourself comfortable. We're ready to roll. You know, it's not fair, Pa. Mr. Reese did his wrongs a long time ago, and he's still being punished. There were big wrongs, Davy. Treason, desertion, cowardice in battle. Yeah, but he's never been tried or convicted. No need to be. The minute they happen, he gave himself a life sentence. Hey, hey, get out of here! Exactly. You certainly know the old boy's time schedule. Don't forget I had to work for him and get pawed by him for a year to learn it. It's not a question of credit. I don't like carelessness in anyone, including myself. Leave the bottle there. I'll be right back.
Sherry, what's the meaning of this? You're a smart man, Mr. Marlowe. I'll let you figure it out. Give me that release. You didn't have to kill him, did you? I wanted to. things to do you well is there anything you'd like to know about yourself where you were born war record color your eyes height weight and when you were last thrown in jail and why seemed like to me you've gone to considerable trouble to look up my record that's why you got the badge i don't see the point of it i'm a stage driver not a lawman well you carry the u.s mail and it's a big responsibility someday you may need that authority to back you up well i'll take your word for it Ooh, see? That's a mighty good-looking woman. Too bad she's dishonest. What she wanted for? Bank robbery. Steal anything big? Banks seem to think so. Could have been a small bank. Well, if you'll pardon my curiosity, why the sudden interest in criminals? Now, don't you remember? I'm an officer of the law. You got any idea where I can find her? Well, now, Luke, I didn't think you'd be a bounty hunter. Oh, I wasn't thinking about the reward. I thought I might marry her. She's a good-looking woman, and she's rich. Mm, maybe she's wanted for murder. Well, on second thought, I reckon I'll stay single. I'll see you next week. Yeah. You better think about it. There's a real storm riding someplace with that wind. Well, I've been caught in storms before. How long ago? There's one thing I don't like is having young sprouts like you make subtle references to my age. You just take care of yourself, I'll take care of me. You're going, aren't you? Uh, it's different with me. I got a job to do. So have I. You brought the word that Zeke's been taken sick. I can't do him any good from here. Well, it's your funeral. I don't like your choice of words. Inside or up on top with me? As you were so careful to point out before, you get paid to expose your carcass to the mass in the elements. I don't. I'll be glad to treat you for pneumonia, though, once we get to where we're going.
going to start snowing any time now. Thought I'd tie these curtains down. Ah, uh, you just do that. Then you can think about how comfortable I am in here while you're freezing your tail off out there. Boy, if there's anything I like, it's a thoughtful pass. I deeply appreciate your solicitude. I may even write to your employer, recommending that you be fired. You know something? It just occurred to me that you neglected to pay your fare. My good man, I am embarked on an errand of mercy to render aid to one of your fellow human beings. If you want any money from me, go back to town and get my desk. That's where I left my wallet. Stay right where you are and don't turn around. I'm buckling your gun belt and toss it away from you. You, inside, come on out. What's the meaning of all this? Put your gun on the ground and don't ask questions. I don't carry a gun, young lady. Any more passengers? He's the only one. You can turn around now, mister. Don't be a hero unless you want to be a dead one. Jerry? How do you know my name? Oh, I expect everybody in the territory knows it by now. Not often you see a pretty girl's picture on a wanted poster. I'm not going to be in the territory very long. If I were in your boots, I'd have the same thoughts. You been uh, killing many people lately? Don't get smart, mister. You're out to be next. I'll take your word for it. Is there anything we can do for you? I have a buggy over there. I lost my horse last night. Well, we'd be glad to give you a lift. I don't want to lift. I want your horses. Now unhitch that team. All six of them? All six of them. I can give you one or two, and Doc and I can still get to where we're going. You heard me, mister. I said I want all six of them. You plan on leaving us on foot? What do you think? Well, with this storm coming, why not just shoot us now and get it over with? I'll do that, too, unless you put a move on. Yeah, I reckon you would. strange females in my time, but by gum, that's the most cold-blooded woman I've ever seen. Woman wasn't exactly the word I had in mind. Do you honestly think she'd have shot us if we hadn't done what she wanted? She killed one man that I know of already. That sort of thing might be habit for me.
Where'd you get this horse? This horse belongs to us. You did. What's wrong with you, Grandpa? I got a misery of some sort. Did you come in on the stage? The stage isn't coming. It's too stormy. Tell Charlie I, I want to see him. Sure, I'll tell him. to me like he's dying. Food enough for two? Stay here. I'm sorry, Doc. I can't do it. Why not? Well, my way, we got a gambling chance. If I get through, I'll know where to find you. If we stay here, they liable not to find us till the snow melts in the spring. You take it easy. Keep the fire burning. Oh, wait a minute. I can't diagnose what's ailing Zeke from what you told me. But if he's still got a fever, you give him one of these every two hours. And keep him warm and quiet, even if you have to time to the bed to do it. And since you won't listen to reason, start traveling while you can still see ten feet ahead of you. See you later, Doc. And good luck, son, because you're going to need it. Charlie! Charlie! 
troubles enough without you, Grandpa. Now, what do you want? You're not Charlie. No, I'm not Charlie. He's drinking again. I warned him if he did it anymore, he, he's got to go. He's already gone. Here, have a drink, Grandpa. Shape you're in. It can't hurt you much. Hey. Uh, uh, is the stage in yet? I told you, the stage isn't coming. That's not like Luke. He gave me his word. He'd bring a doctor. Who's Luke? Stage driver. He said he was going to bring a doctor? He, he gave me his word. case of frostbite. Rub your hands and feet with snow to start the circulation. I reckon I've got that to thank you for. No much thanks. I may have some use for you later on. Sherry. Sherry. Who's he? I never saw him before. He's a friend of mine. Get over by the wall where I can keep an eye on you. You're talking to someone. Was it the old man you said was dying? No. This is somebody different. Something the storm blew in. A U.S. Marshal. Oh. Be careful. He could cause us trouble. No, he won't. He won't. Now, you go back to sleep. Everything's gonna be all right. 
What's wrong with him? He got shot. You do it? Don't try to be funny, mister. Where's he? Who, Grandpa? He's in there. That's far enough. He's sick. I got some medicine for him. He told me you were going to be a doctor with you. I was until he left us stranded down the road. But where is he now? I had to leave him. He played out on me. Is he still alive? He was when I left him. You know anything about doctoring? Yeah, a little. Well, maybe you can help me with him. I'll do what I can. Who shot him? What difference does it make? Fever's running pretty high. Look, mister, I know that much. Well, then why don't you go get a bucket full of snow and some towels? Maybe some cold compresses will bring that fever down. Well, why don't you go get them yourself? You seem to know your way around this place. As long as you holding that gun, I don't reckon I got much choice. Well, now, you just remember that. I'm willing to forget it if you are. Make things more friendly-like. Go get it yourself. Yes, ma'am. And don't try and run out on me. Lady, the nearest town is 50 miles away. Just how far do you think I'd get in this blizzard? Carrying a bullet, that's not good. Take it out. I could if I had a set of surgeon's tools and four years of medical school. I've dug out a few slugs in my time, but they were in arms and legs. I wouldn't touch that one. What's going to happen to me, then? Well, I'm afraid I'm not qualified to say that either. Out of my way so I can put this hot water down. Just start yelling if it gets too bad. I did the best I could, but I, uh, I don't know much about treating bullet wounds. Then you ought to learn. Seems like to me you've caused a few in your time. I may have to cause a few more if anyone else gets in my way. Including me? Including you. Well, it's not something I look forward to, but I guess you've got a reason. All the reason I need. I thought you drove a stage. You didn't tell me you were a lawman. You never asked me. That's the reason I have to kill you, mister. Does that make sense to you? It makes sense. Because if I don't kill you, you'll take him away from me. He needs me. Right now, he needs a doctor more than anything else. He's going to get a doctor. I have friends up north. They'll take care of us. He won't live that long. Don't you say that! He'll live. He's got to live. Can I see Zeke? Why don't you just let him die in peace? Does that mean you're going to shoot him too before you leave? If he lives that long. What are you looking at me for? I'm just wondering what you hope to gain by all this killing. I've got him. It's all I ever had. It's all I ever wanted. Well, I feel sorry for you when you're losing. Because even if he lives through this, do you expect to hold him with a gun? Well, I've done all right so far. You call that doing all right? I couldn't help that. Sure you could. If you hadn't robbed a bank and killed a man, he wouldn't be on the run. You're blaming all of this on me. That's right. Well, he's the one who wanted money, but he didn't know how to get it. And you did. Way, I feel sorry for both of you. Look, I don't want you or anybody else feeling sorry for me. Yeah, I know. You feel sorry for yourself. I'm going to go see Zeke. Zeke, wake 
Gypsy. How do you feel, old timer? Sally, I, I thought you'd gone. That's what that woman said. It's not Charlie Zeke, it's Luke. Luke Perry. Luke, boy. I've been waiting for a real long time. Sorry, I couldn't make it sooner. You, you brought the doctor like you said you would? He couldn't cut it, Zeke. But he gave me some pills to give you. He says. Doctor always been the biggest liar in the territory. All you got to do to prove that is die. I'd be danged if I will. I'll stay alive and tell him to his face. Sure you will. Now you get some sleep. I can't understand that Charlie though. Walking out on me the way he did. <laughs> shot your friend? That's right. Yeah. Figures. Where do you think you're going? I have to get some wood. We don't have enough to last the night. That is, unless you'd rather go. Go on. Enough? Yeah, I thought it bad. What you had, you would have made it easier on me. I thought you'd already made up your mind. I have. That's why I thought maybe you'd cut out storm or no storm. I'll take my chances here. I may be a lot of things, mister, but I'm not a liar. You haven't got a chance here. But I told you that before. Yeah. Now get up. You had your chance to live a little longer. Now let's take a walk outside. Before I go outside, when you can shoot me just as well in here. You don't really think I'm going to shoot you, do you? Yeah, lady, I think you are. And you're not afraid? Sure, I'm afraid. I've been afraid ever since I got here, and I don't like the feeling. So go ahead. Shoot. No, Sherry. Sherry, don't. Sherry. Sherry, don't you see we can use him? We can take him along with us. No one's going to stop us if we got a marshal. We can go any place we want. Any place. All right, Zombie, I'll think about it. Luke! Luke Perry! Sorry if I go see what the old man wants. You're really worried about Grandpa, aren't you? Yeah. Why? He's a friend of mine. Go on, sit down. We have a little talking to do. 
You think I'm gonna double cross you? Hmm. Wouldn't you? That's a chance you have to take. No, that's too much like playing poker with other fellas' deck. What if I promise I won't hurt Grandpa? He could still talk. That's a chance I have to take. I'll think about it. Luke Perry. Yeah, you think about it. All right, you can go in and see him. Sherry. Sherry. Sherry, the doctor's here. I heard him coming. It's not the doctor you heard, honey. No. But he is coming, isn't he? Yeah, he's coming. He'll be here soon. If he doesn't get here soon, I'll die, won't I? No, you won't. Think about it, Selby. I don't want to die, Sherry. Think I'm afraid to die. Hush now. You go to sleep. Everything's gonna be all right tomorrow. Oh. My side hurts so much. I know. I know it does. I know. Don't you think it's a little past your bedtime, Mister? Yeah, I could use a little sleep. I could too, but I can't get any with you wandering around. Turn around. Good one from what I hear. Good enough to recognize a bluff. You think I'm bluffing? Call it. 
I got nothing to lose. And remember, I'm the only one who can help you. You sent a day. I'm no doctor. Maybe just half a day. <sighs> What makes you think you can scare me? I don't have to. You're already scared. Cherry. Cherry. You don't need the gun. I'm still staked out. What's wrong? Storm's over. We can leave now. Oh, oh we can wait till daylight. He thinks I may not last that long. You've got to get me to a doctor, Sherry. What you been telling him? That he's gonna die? What do you know about it? I saw a lot of bullet wounds turning to gangrene in the war. You've got to listen to him, Sherry. I don't want to die. It's not a pretty sight, Sherry. It takes a long time. Why don't you shoot him now? Make it easy on him. There's no need. You're not going anywhere. I turned the stock loose last night. You can never find him in this storm. Oh, I should have shot you when you first got in here. It's too late now. No, it isn't. Look, if you kill me now, you'll be killing Selby too. I'm the only one who can help you. I left Doc Capperson holed up in the cave three miles from here with enough food to see him through the storm. I can get him here within three or four hours. You heard him, Sherry. You can get me a doctor. And then I won't die. Don't you see? You can go on ahead. And I can meet you later. Yeah. That's right, Selby. You can meet me later. I guess you're playing with your deck, mister. I won't be here when you get back. Would you... Well, you promise me that you'll take care of him. I promise. to get straight he didn't shoot anyone and he didn't have anything to do with robbing the bank that was all my idea yeah i know you don't have to worry so long so long sherry sherry i'm sorry it's all right everything's all right you just remember that you're gonna meet me later on
was all I ever had and wanted. I tried to keep him from getting hurt, but like you said, I'm the one who killed him. You hurt pretty bad, Sherry. Who did it? You ought to know, mister. I'm the only one who had the guns here. And nobody took any of them away from me. You just draw your own conclusions. I'll get the dog. I don't bother. He can't help me. There's one thing you could do for me, though. All you got to do is name it. If you can arrange it, I'd like to lie beside him. I'll arrange it. At least I saved the law the cost of hanging me. when he gets my bill. My fee for living in a cave is pretty high. Listen, I'm gonna see you later, Doc. I gotta go find those horses and get us back to town. Well, good luck. chia ra nó chỉ ăn mỗi món nó ít ít thôi chứ nhưng mà nhá nấm xào thịt bò nấm hết chưa bỏ <cười> tại vì sao vì cái nước thịt bò nó ra là cái nấm rồi nên nó ngấm vào trong cả cái nấm nữa trời ơi đấy đây là vẫn có thịt sốt với lại dầu hào với lại ấy ừ. thì uh, ông Dương ông sẽ lấy hết nấm mồm ăn còn lại trôi lại đậu phụ đậu phụ đấy phải đậu phụ non đấy non không đậu phụ phải là đậu phụ uh, đậu phụ non cứng tại vì là đấy là đấy là đồ kho rồi ăn hấp kiểu hấp xong rồi uh, sốt thịt lên trên thôi bọn, bọn chung cũng hay làm cái món kiểu đấy, đấy. em thích ăn uh, sốt nấm cho nên bọn chung non non thôi thế kia là chị làm món kho rồi bà ơi kho hả? sốt rồi sốt thì là kho vỡ sữa vỡ thì thế nên bảo là đang nói đi cái món kho cơ mà em thấy đấy thì sốt thôi Ừ, ăn ăn kho nhé kiểu thực ra nó gọi gọi là kho nhưng mà nó chỉ là kiểu hơi nó hơi sền sẹp một tí thôi tại vì là cái đồ đấy nó không phải như thịt đấy ăn đồ chay cũng ngon mà nhưng mà đồ chay thì hơi đắt đồ chay đắt 
thật, thật ra đúng là tôi mà mua 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 một cái 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 túi nấm là nó ba mươi bốn nghìn mà nó cũng bằng thịt rồi còn gì nữa hôm trước cái bà bán ra hồ bà cứ bảo em đi thi hoa hậu ấy sao ấy không thấy mua ra một số bà sau em bảo là thế bây giờ thịt nó đắt à, đi nào nó đắt sao nó đắt hơn thịt à rau em bảo bà là bây giờ bây giờ rau đắt hơn thịt thịt tội thì mua rau ừ xong bảo là ừ <cười> nói như vậy thì tao ấy thật mà mua hoa hậu mẹ ăn uh, súp lơ ăn ớt chuông với lại ăn nấm thì chả đắt bác cứ nói thế cháu cũng muốn ăn rau lắm đấy chứ nhưng nhiều khi cháu ăn rau thì thấy hơi chát thật mà nhiều khi chị thấy rau của mày này đắt hơn cả thịt mà ừ, ta thế mua mua năm mươi nghìn thì bỏ rào mua thêm mẹ súp lơ thế nào súp lơ mười lăm hai nghìn một cái cái gì mười lăm hai ừ chị Để mua rồi đấy sao sao là to hơn à ồ chị chị chỉ mua cái bé bé thôi vừa vừa thôi người ta mua cái lại phải lấy cái to vậy em cần ăn hai bữa đây chứ cần để hai bữa ồ thế thì cắt đôi đúng không nhỉ nè tôi chỉ mua mười lăm hai mươi nghìn thôi như thế là rau là súp có xịn rồi đấy này đẳng cấp cả ăn ớt chuông nữa thì em lại không thích ăn ớt chuông ớt chuông chị ăn sống thôi còn xào nấu thì chị không thích ăn ớt chuông cái nào có ớt chuông tôi sẽ vứt đi không ăn nữa ớt chuông cả ớt chuông nhá bà không biết thôi ớt chuông nó vị nó cực kỳ ngọt luôn em chưa ăn thấy bao giờ trời ơi chưa ăn bao giờ mẹ chồng em nó mang nhiều ớt chuông về lắm ớt chuông tôi cảm thấy ớt chuông đắt lắm. Thế là để em về để em mua về ăn thôi. Còn không nhưng mà chị không thích ăn ớt chuông nấu. Ăn sống thì chị ăn còn nấu lên chị không bao giờ ăn. Ăn mực mực với ớt chuông sống ấy. À, 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 à. Em xem tốt tốt với bọn nó ăn mà. Mà ăn thử mua về ăn thử em. Còn ăn mình nghĩ ớt chuông thôi. Thôi để ăn thử để cho nó thêm ngon. Ừ. Em thích ăn mực quá thế thế là bà bà thích ăn mực rồi nhưng còn quế thì đến quả ớt chuông đến yeah. lúc ăn ăn mực xong ăn thấy ớt chuông lại không thấy ngon nữa. ăn thì nó quen trước mình đã tô xong bức tranh bông hoa màu cam rất là xinh cảm ơn mọi người đã theo dõi video của mình và nhớ ấn like subscribe kênh để ủng hộ cho mình nhé bye bye rồi rồi thì mình vừa cùng cả nhà tô xong một cái thỏ rất là xinh như thế này nếu cả nhà thích video của mình thì ấn like, share và subscribe kênh của mình để mình ra thêm nhiều video hơn nữa nha. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại.